All right, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, it is the day after the epic East Harrison trip. Got the truck all washed up, and now it's going to be time to survey the damage. So a quick overview on the washing. We got our two-bucket method here, and that only happens after we spray it with the foam cannon, which, uh, well, it's back there in the pressure washer. Foam cannon's in the bottom there, full of blue. Soaks it all up, makes it nice and foamy, and loosens all the dirt. Uh, first time in a year of owning it, I went through it with a fine-tooth comb, literally, and uh, just cleaned out all the all the gaps and whatnot, just ran a brush through there, because, you know, it lives under a tree, and so that's the life. So let's have a look here. Um, this bit of damage was from some off-roading last year before I put a front lift on it, so we're not gonna count that. Let's just keep on cruising around. Looks like we're pretty good in here. Time to lay down on the wet ground and have a look. Uh, skid plate, it's hard to tell. It doesn't look like any big dents or anything. None of the bolts were sheared off, so that's good. Oh, I see some of them have loosened up though, so I better tighten those. What else have we got? Ah, let's head to the back. That's where all the fun's going to be. All right. Let's get down here. We got a gas tank skid plate. I know I hit a few things yesterday, but it may well have been the exhaust or the drive shaft. But um, seemingly don't meant no damage. If you're wondering how I got it so clean under here, that's using a, a sweeper brush that attaches to the pressure washer. I'll show you that in a sec if I, uh, if I remember. So I think I showed you this yesterday on the trail. Um, it certainly didn't hit any better on the way down. And even the right side uh, got its arse kicked just a wee bit. Uh, scraped the bumper in a couple of spots there. Uh, getting on down in here. Looks like we are... Looks like we're all right. The uh, No Low Designs rear diff skid plate is holding on. And uh, yeah, trailer hitch, wiring, all that. It's pretty good. I did bang the recovery shackle that I had on there, so I've got a few scuffs. And now, so that you all can see just how excellent my truck looks, I get myself a little bit wet. Father's Day, Popeye's chicken coming soon, giving me time to get changed. Quick note on the car wash, it's a black truck. I normally dry it but it's kind of lightly raining out today, so I'm not gonna dry it. And since I plan on getting out on the trails again as soon as I can, I'm not gonna go through it and make sure every last little bit of dirt is gone either. All right, I'm just gonna sign off from this video from the confines of my office. Now that I've done a little bit of editing and played around with the uh, iMovie trailer feature, lets you uh, put together actually a, a pretty decent trailer. I got a, a minute, a mini teaser of yesterday's adventure. Hopefully you guys will like it. It was the finest work that Apple could do with their awesome iMovie program. Great for making amateur hacks like me look like they almost know what they're doing. Anyway, as far as today goes, great to see that the Ridgeline didn't suffer uh, too big of damages. And we can rectify that with uh, a little more air in the back tires and a little bit more of a lift. So thank you for all for tuning in. If you like it, do hit that like and subscribe button and tell all your friends. All right, until then, we shall see you when we see you. Thanks.